In my last video, I demonstrated how to use Droni Galici to do flight planning for the DJI 3 to do a mapping. And therefore, I've used the Mavic Air 2 as camera type because it's more or less identical with the DJI Air 3. Now, the question is, what about the 48 megapixel sensor? Does it make sense? Does it work? Because we have no setting there from DroneLink. DroneLink has a 48 megapixel setting for the Mavic Air 2. But keep in mind, the Mavic Air 2 has a 4 by 3 ratio, so this doesn't fit here. You can do it, but we can also stick to the 16 by 9 with the DJI 3, and then we should be able to use the same settings we use for a standard 12 megapixel photo. So how does our workflow look like? For capturing the photos, I will use the same waypoint mission I created before using DroneLink and Litchi. If you missed this video, you find the link in the description below. Next, I will upload all photos to WebODM to do the stitching. And finally, let's have a look at the result. Is an advantage in using 48 megapixel photos? But now, let's get started. In WebODM, I already created a mapping project, so I took the default values, no resizing of the images, and now let's start with the processing. So this will be interesting because this is the first time I used 48 megapixel photos for stitching them together in WebODM. I don't know if my machine will handle it. If we have a look at the bottom, my container have 700% CPU max and 20 gig of memory assigned. I'm already above the 700%, so uh, let's see if it works. Memory side, 12 gig. I assigned 20, so I'm still below. So everything's good so far. And uh, oh, and now I got 17 gig of memory usage. I don't know if it will run until the end, but uh, let's see. But now, uh, let's do a fast forward to see if I get it, if the machine will create a photo and how it looks like. Okay, we are ready. Now let's check. So let's have a first look. So what we can see here, everything is okay. We don't have any holes. If we zoom in a bit, still fine. And now let's zoom in one more time to 5 meter. And now you start to see pixels again. So basically, this is the same result I got with the 12 megapixel photos. So there's no advantage going for the 48 megapixel photos, except you would change something in the settings, how you render, how you stitch your pictures in WebODM. So with ground control points you have and the higher resolution, then you may benefit from it. Otherwise, if you don't do this, just go with the defaults on WebODM. There's not really an advantage going for the 48 megapixel photos. The only thing we learned, or the best thing we learned from this little exercise is that we can do the same flight planning we use for the 12 megapixel photos if we want to go for 48 megapixel photos. Same flight, same number of photos, and uh, you get a good result. Okay, I think we have a result. The 48 megapixel sensor works for mapping with the same planning like we did before for the 12 megapixel. The only thing is keep in mind is you need a powerful machine and uh, you only benefit of the sensor if you change the resolution with ground control points. Otherwise, keep on flying with the 12 megapixel and you're fine. I hope this video was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments below what do you think. Will you prefer the 48 or 12 megapixel photos in the future? Thank you.